Hey y'all, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with y'all a new to me brand. This is Mifa. They reached out, asked if I would be interested in swatching for their brand. I said, heck yeah. You know, I love me some new to me brands. I'm always here to try out some new stuff. I want to say they sell exclusively on Amazon. They do not have a website as far as I know because I did do a little bit of back and forth with my PR rep over at MIFA. However, I googled this brand and Walmart, like Walmart came up. So as you can see right here, immediately I ran out to the Walmart app and I did a little bit of scrolling, a little bit of searching and I was like, okay, do they really be selling kits? Uh, at the old Walmarts? I don't know. So maybe you're like, ooh, I don't get jiggy with Amazon, but let me pop over to the Walmarts and, you know, see what's popping. So perhaps they do sell at Walmart. I don't know. I don't go to the Walmarts. Not because I don't love Walmarts. I just don't like public people. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I ain't out here in these streets shopping in person but here is a 20 plus 3 gel polish uh build your style in mifa it's just a little kit uh, you know y'all know y'all know how it is and over here on the back i understand that brands have to put this on here you know these warnings right but go to the doctor if in eyes or mouth Child, if you got gel polish in your eyes or your mouth, maybe this ain't the life for you, okay? You have much larger issues going on. Please do not put gel polish in your mouth or drip it into your eyeballs. Don't do that. But here is their customer support email and you can also find them on Facebook at Mifa Nails. I will have a link to this 20 plus three gel polish kit down in the description box below. Please click on that link if you are interested in anything that is featured or swatched in this video. I will be swatching all 20 colors because I'm pretty sure, hold on, how do I open this? I'm pretty sure this will be like 20 colors plus like three, I don't know, a top coat, a base coat, and something else. Oh, here we go, okay. But first of all, can we please just appreciate the packaging? Y'all know I love this type of packaging. Florals are everything. Which by the way, I'll go ahead and give myself a shameless plug. I did a mani based on or inspired by, I guess I should say, a brand's packaging. I will put that up here in the cards above. So here are your I would guess, yeah, it's your application guide, your removal guide, some Q's and A's. No, there's no website. It's just customer support email and a Facebook page. So here is, here are the 20 colors. And over here, this would be the plus three. What do we have? We have a base. We have a matte top coat. We have a top coat. Now, I have seen other brands do these QR codes on here, and I have purposely frozen the bottle right here, thinking, okay, if someone is watching this video and they just want to pause it and then pick up their phone, open the camera, and do one of these. I've done that before. I don't know if the product was just sold out. I have not done that with any of these. Okay, so during the editing process, I decided to go ahead and try it. And I picked up my phone and did the whole QR code thing. And the top coat took me to this brand that I'd never heard of before called Christio uh, Poly Shine Top Gel. Uh, the brand is Christio, I think, Chris Trio, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I don't know about all that. And then the, what is this one going to be? The base coat took me to this other strange product from Amazon, which is an uh, a car tire inflator. So I don't know, Mifa, if you're aware of this, you may wanna go ahead and change this or look into it. I don't know, but the QR codes ain't working, honey. However, the one time I did try that with a, again, a different brand, it didn't work. I don't know if 
it sent me to some broken URL. However, all of these do have QR codes as well as numbers. So, you know, but if they don't have a website, how do the QR codes work? How do the QR codes work, Mifa? I don't know. So right off the rip, these are five mil bottles. They do have, uh, you know, storage, warning. Y'all can pause at any time if you would like to. I will not be using the top coat, the base coat, or the matte top coat in any of these because again, these are tiny little bottles. So I will be using a different brand's top coat to top my popsticks, but just enjoy the colors. This, These colors are phenomenal. These are glass bottles, uh, you know, high quality. We'll see how the brush is. So quickly, before I head off to start swatching, uh, the base coat, it says to cure for 30 to 60 seconds. The colors as well, 30 to 60 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds drying time is based on like a six watt lamp, I guess. Uh, it does take longer to cure if the wattage of the lamp is lower than six watts. The only thing that this does not tell me, because I am here for the peoples, I'm here to do the research and to help y'all out. I don't know if this is a no wipe top coat, but I will absolutely try. I will do some research. I will do some experimentation, honey and let y'all know if this is a no wipe top coat. I have already also done one coat, spoiler alert. Uh, I did one coat because I do want to show y'all the matte top coat over at least three of these colors. A little pre-research, I'm doing some things for y'all and I will definitely come back at the end after I get all of these swatched and show y'all the three colors over which I have applied the matte top coat. And I will of course let y'all know if the glossy top coat is uh, no wipe or if you have to wipe it. Okay, here we go. Shout out to y'all folks who tell me that my background ambiance makes y'all have to pee. I see ya, I see you, I see you in these comments. And I hope this makes you have to pee right now. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I have finished all my swatches. There are too many to put out here all at once. I will, 
eventually, but I did want to share them sort of in groups. So these are all of the glitters, silver, purple, gold, turquoise, or I, I don't know, should I start from the right? Uh, pink, rose gold. This rose gold is phenomenal. Uh, sort of a blue leaning turquoise. We do have a gold, sort of a fine glitter, hollow mix, also a purple, and then just a silver, a silver mix. These are all stunning. So you're gonna get six zhuzhis. And then over here, I have pulled out the sort of nudies, the yellows and the greens. Beautiful, gorge. Love these. This is very reminiscent of one of my all-time favorite. Ugh, I want to call it buttercream, but it's not quite as yellow as my all-time favorite buttercream. But this is still beautiful. Again, y'all already know my obsession with greens and blues. And then over here, I have pulled out the pinks and the oranges and like the corals. This, okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to have a pick? I don't know. I have a pick and it's this one. This is like if coral and neon red had a baby, it would be this. It is absolutely freaking stunning. I know, God, I need to find another. Let me break out the thesaurus, okay? I have to find another word for stunning because I feel like I use that in so many of my freaking videos, but I can't help it. This is so juicy and so delicious and I just want to freaking eat it. Oh my God, it's amazing. This is not a straight light line because I think I had some fuzz going on in there. And then finally, I do have my blues and my purples. So here we go. These are these, you know, I did have six zhuzhis, but then all the rest of these were creams. I did not have a single problem with any of these polishes. Again, two coats on every single thing that you just saw. But as far as, you know, cream coverage, I never once felt like, ooh, do I need a third coat? You know, you know what I'm saying. But I also wanted to share with you guys this freaking top coat. Oh, okay. I may have a tie for my all-time favorite matte top coat, you guys. So one thing that really pisses me off, and this goes for indie brands, mainstream brands, gel brands, I don't care what kind of brands. If you are advertising your matte top coat as being matte, that shit better be matte. And I'm talking zero light reflection. Yeah, I do have a little bit of shadowing. I only did one coat of the cream colors on each one of these, but your matte top coat better be fucking matte. I'm sorry, that's just the way I feel about it. This is flawless. There's not one single light reflection on this. This is actually matte. Do not give me a satin matte top coat and try to tell me that it's matte when my eyeballs know that it ain't, okay? This is legit matte. This is chalkboard, no light reflection whatsoever. Gorge, love that matte top coat. And then last but not least, I did also test out the, uh, the glossy top coat. It is a no wipe. Yay, yay for that. We all love a no wipe top coat. I will also say this, I top coated all of my pop sticks with the exception of this guy because I did want to use Mifa's glossy top coat and find out whether or not it was a no wipe. But I, I topped all of the rest of my pop sticks with Model 1's top coat. This is a seven mil. Y'all, I pretty much went through this entire bottle, please. Gel brands, come on now. If you're gonna give me 20 freaking polishes, okay? Can we please up the volume size of the top coats? Otherwise, we have to find or we have to purchase a larger volume bottle to just literally top coat our pop sticks. I'm pretty sure most of us like to swatch our polishes. We like to have these pop sticks on hand to literally go through pretty much an entire seven mil bottle Again, this is model ones, this is seven mils. I literally would have emptied this little five mil thing if I had to use this to top coat all my pop sticks. So 
gel brands, please, if you're going to put a kit together, I mean, am I asking too much to just give us maybe a, maybe a seven mil top coat bottle? I would prefer a 10 mil, but that's just me. Uh, so yeah, any boobs obsessed, obsessed with the matte top coat. This is a very, very good one. So this was my pick, you guys. So I did the same color. This is Mifa's uh, 592. This was like the, the neon red, if it had a baby with a coral. But here it is matte. Oh, stunning. Oh my God, I love it. But look how freaking different they are just based on glossy versus matte. So let me go ahead and fan out all my little pop sticks so y'all can see all these beauties all together. So here are all of the 20 colors as well as three little extras. These are all the colors. 592 is my freaking pick of this entire thing, honey. Quick look at these three colors in matte form. So stay tuned and I will get right on in to the nail arts. Let's jump on in. So I've chosen these three cream colors and apologies. Oh, also this is a Charlie's Nail Arts uh, foil, nail foil, and some red iguanas, uh, clear, I think it's clear hollow, what is this, clear hollow glitters, it's kind of fine, it's an 008, and I have actually decided to base coat my tips that I'm about to be using, sorry if y'all can hear some cars driving by, it is springtime and we have windows open and it is just glorious and beautiful weather. So this is a purple and I'm gonna do a purple nail, a yellow nail, my hair, love this. Oh, okay, so look at my background. See that little metal thing dancing around? Oh, I'm also gonna do two pink nails. Y'all, the armature that my phone is connected to is also connected to the same shelf that I was bumping some crazy jams through my Alexa uh, device. So that thing was hopping all over the place. I had to run it through some sort of like stabilizing software. Any boobs, apology, look at that. Oh my goodness, oh my Lord. I was really, listen, I was in my zone uh, whenever I filmed this. So I'm going to use some base coat because I want to do a Frenchie uh, on this purple tip. But, well, I say but. Uh, things were going quite well. Uh, I filled it in. You know, I, I drew it th exactly the way that I wanted it to look had it been a traditional Frenchie. But then somewhere along the way, I thought, you know what, no. I want to make this a little bit funky, a little bit kooky, and, you know, not a traditional French smile line. I don't know. What, what do you call that? A, a traditional French tip. I wanted to do like a scalloped type of a deal, and I did. It looked amazing. However, can you spot my mistake? Because... I sure as hell didn't uh, until until I did. So I get all of my little base coat down here because I want to sugar this. I want to sugar this Frenchie and make it so cute. And things, again, things were going quite well until they were not. So I do get this filled in quite nicely with this brush. I don't even know what the hell brush this is, but here we are. So I'm gonna try to sort of like, uh, I say scallop, you know, sort of like make a little squiggly, um, just not your traditional uh, straight curved French. I know straight and curved don't belong in the same sentence, but you know, you about to find out. So I get all of this base coat down because I want to sugar my red iguana glitters into this base coat. So I think this right here is where I was like, you know what? 
No, I want to. I want to paint outside the box. I want to be outside the lines. And here we go. Here we go. It's gonna be quite cute. Also, my McCart foil glue is off. Okay, can you see this? You can probably kind of see that little whatever. Okay, here's where I really effed up. What I should have done was no white top coated that purple, but I didn't. So I'm over here sugaring away, sugaring away, just sugaring away, honey and tapping off the excess. Child, that entire nail had a sticky, tacky layer on it. Terrible. So while I was over here effing up the purple nail, I was leaving my McCart foil gel glue to cool down. So now I'm gonna go in with my Charlie's nail art. Y'all, this freaking foil from Charlie's is stunning and it just rips right off flawlessly. So this is where I'm like, oh, why is this not brushing off? Like, what is happening? Oh, I'm pretty much burnishing the freaking glitter right into that tacky layer. Honey, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? But you can see, like I really did, you know, uh, create a, a a different, an, an alternative, you know, uh, Frenchy there. But you know what? I really wasn't mad at it. It was, it was almost like a glitter fade, I guess, at this point. I did not uh, top coat this at all because I wasn't trying to F up one of my top coats. But here we go. Here we go. Uh, I did do the pinky nail, just a full... Uh, glitter sugary type of a deal yeah see you can see you can see that my little Frenchie was you know a little bit different if y'all stuck around this long the keyword is foil the keyword is foil but also if you stuck around this long cookies kudos and trophies to y'all I cannot thank y'all enough for all of your support of my tiny little channel over the last you know several years i do 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 so appreciate y'all drop it in comments let me know what you think let me know how you feel i love our little discourse and that kind of a deal uh yeah let me know if you enjoyed this design let me know if i don't know you want to see something else but that's going to do it for me. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!